Hello, everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale, and I'm a first-year beekeeper. Today's video is called Good Queen, Bad Queen. We're always thinking about the queen. Is she in the hive? Is she in good condition? Is she well-mated? Is she laying a good brood pattern? Oh no, will she be superseded? As a new beekeeper, I just want the thrill of seeing the queen during the hive inspection. After mating flights, the queen returns to the hive to fulfill her destiny to become the egg-laying machine. She can lay 1,200 eggs per day, 2,200 eggs per day, or even as many as 3,500 eggs per day, as Reverend Langstroth proposes in his book, Hive and the Honeybee. And I'll leave a link for that for you to review it. After reading an article in, in the December 2015 issue of American Bee Journal by Larry Connor called Beekeeping by the Numbers, I understand now that the number of eggs the queen lays per day varies based on the season or other factors. In the late winter, for example, and early spring, the numbers are higher as, the, as she builds up the hive to maximize the number of workers available for the spring nectar flow. In the late fall, the number of eggs laid will be lower. There are probably other factors or variations that determine the number of eggs laid per day. Beekeepers often use this number of eggs laid per day as a measure to determine if the queen is a good or bad. Is the queen doing a good job or is the queen doing poorly and needs to be replaced? So I'm wondering, how many eggs is my queen laying at a given time? Larry Connor describes an easy way to calculate the average number of eggs laid per day. The idea is to count the number of cap brood cells and divide by 12. 12 is the number of days a worker cell is capped. So I would like to demonstrate this to you. Uh, this process of guesstimating the number of eggs laid per day based on a video captures from a video that I recorded on June the 30th, 2020. Now, I got my nook on May the 30th, 2020, so this would have been just over 21 days. So, let's see how my queen was doing at the very beginning of, right or right after being installed into the nook. So a couple of things that we need to think about first. One is that there are 3,500 cells per side of a, a frame. And the frame has approximately 140 square inches on one side. And the other inf interesting information is that uh, there are about 25 cells per square inch. So using all those numbers, we're going to walk through um, these uh, video captures and see if we can estimate the number of uh, eggs laid per day uh, right after the hive was installed into, from the nook into the hive. So here's frame one, side A. And I guesstimated about six square inches. It's really hard to tell. There's a lot of bees on the frame, uh, but you can see that there's like one square, two square, maybe three, four, five, and there's a few over here, maybe six. So just six square inches um, on this frame, on this side of this frame. Uh, frame two, side A. Again, I put about six square inches. This frame is about the same age as the other one. A lot of the brood has um, emerged and just uh, remaining uh, around the edge, the, the later laid eggs. So just about six square inches here. Next, this one is uh, frame three side A. And again, same age, um, it came, this frame came in the um, nook and uh, I just guesstimate here about six square inches. It's um, probably pretty low, but 
it, it's just all around the edges and maybe six square inches. Now this one is uh, frame four side A. And what I did here is um, guesstimated the uh, square inches here to be 116 square inches. What I did was I took uh, 140 square inches minus 24. So across the top here is probably is about one inch wide that's not filled in, maybe like 16 square inches there. And down the side on the right hand side, there'd be another eight square inches. So just guesstimating, maybe a little um, generous, but uh, there's 24 square inches to subtract from the 140. So about 116 square inches on that frame. The next frame uh, is a little fuller and uh, start with 140 and kind of subtract out 15 square inches. Uh, here on the left hand side, there's eight square inches. The distance between the top of the frame and the bottom here is about eight. And it's about, you know, a, an inch wide. So uh, eight, and then over here on this side, there's a couple of square inches here that are missing and a couple of square inches down in here. So I just guesstimated again here that that's the 15 square inches that aren't being used. So this frame has 125 square inches of uh, capped brood. The next frame is frame five side A, and I just guesstimated eight square inches. You can kind of see that there's probably a you know, a couple square inches in here, three, four, maybe and across here, maybe there's maybe three or four more. It's kind of hard to tell with the bees uh, covering it like it is. Um, of course, this is coming from a video. I, I, you know, just did not, I didn't try to do this live uh, so where I could have moved the bees or whatever. Uh, so the next frame is this one, this is, uh, frame six side A. And I guesstimated about 10 square inches. Um, you know, across here would be 16 all the way. If this was full all the way across here, this would be like 16 square inches. But it's not full, and there's a little bit up in here and a little bit up in here. So it's not full. So I just guesstimated here is about 10 square inches. This one uh, is uh, frame six side B. Again, I subtracted out about 20 square inches. You can see there's uh, about eight here and maybe 16, you know, eight down here and another eight down this way. That would be 16. And then over in here, there's probably four or so square inches that aren't being used. I'm probably being, being a little generous here because there's some empty space in here as well. So then, so 120 square inches. Uh, this was uh, a side, a frame seven side A. Uh, it took out about 60 square inches uh, to leave 80 square inches. So this would be 16, probably two, two inches at the top that aren't being used. That would be 32. And there's probably eight over here. That would be um, 40. And it's kind of hard to tell over here on this other side, on the right-hand side, exactly what's going on. So that's probably, that's where I got the other 20 square inches that are kind of missing over here on the right hand side. So we count that one 80 square inches. And then this one is frame seven, side B. I just took out about 40 square inches of this one. Um, across the top would be 16 and uh, maybe a 32 and an eight down on the right hand side. This is pretty full. So uh, I took out 40 square inches. So um, that, I think that's all of the frames that had brood on them, um, or a kept brood on them. So um, the next frame here is, is the summary of everything. So you know the, each frame is here for the square inches, and then I multiplied that uh, number times 25, which is the number of cells per square inch. And so we had 577 square inches and 14,425 cells. And you take that number and you um, divide that by 12 and you get about 1,202 eggs per day. So that's, I think that's pretty about average. So as soon as my um, nook was installed, the queen got busy and laid about 1,200 eggs per day uh, in that uh, 12 frame, a uh, 12 day uh, time frame uh, 
couple of days after the Nook was installed. So that's really all I have. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care and have a great day. God bless.